This is the third and hopefully final video in this series of getting 3DR telemetry from our APM 2.5 through this Bluetooth bridge over to the Samsung Galaxy Tab with Droid Planner installed. I'm going to walk through the different hardware components and wiring connections to make this all work. For starters we have this six pin connector that comes with your 3DR radio and normally on the other end of this connector you have this six pin I believe this is an FTDI connector. This goes to my Minimo SD. But what I did is I clipped this off so I had the leads free that I could wire up to the Bluetooth module. There are four pins I used coming out of this connector. Red is your five volts. This one on the far right is your ground. And then next to red, the second pin is your TX. And the third pin is your RX. Pins four and five are not used. So you can see the flying leads and I'll probably clip those off later on. From the 3DR radio I have the red VCC connected, that's the 5 volts. Then I have ground connected. And originally I had this wired backwards so a tricky thing about this setup and something to remember since this Bluetooth module serves as a bridge you actually want TX coming from your 3DR radio to go to the TX pin and RX from the radio to go to the RX pin. So it's kind of a pass through. And on the other end, the Samsung Galaxy will be talking via Bluetooth to this module. And the only other connections that we need to worry about are getting power both to the module and to the 3DR radio. So you'll notice that I have an extra lead coming off of the 5 volt VCC and then also another lead coming off the ground. And those leads go to the servo extension cable, red and black, and then for signal, we just have another empty flying lead. And for powering this setup, I didn't have a standalone BEC, so I'm using this ESC without the motor leads connected. And this BEC puts off five volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this servo lead to the extension. Make sure that we have our black lined up with black and red lined up. Have that connection made. And then on the other end here, we have a JST connector, and I had this 3S 850 milliamp LiPo laying around. You could definitely get away with something a lot smaller, but for now, this is what I'm going to use just to demonstrate the setup. I'm going to take the LiPo and connect this JST. We should see power to both the Bluetooth module and the 3DR radio. So everything looks good there. Now one thing I want to point out, I did direct solder these leads. Not the cleanest solution, but you know this is a prototype, so maybe I'll do a follow up with something more professional, if you will, and also I've been thinking about a 3D printed sort of a backpack that all this stuff can mount to. Okay, now on the other end, I actually have this Bixler set up with APM 2.5 that I've been messing around with, and right now I just have it set in manual mode. Uh, so it's kind of a pass through. The APM isn't doing much, but it is providing telemetry. And if you notice, the LED is constant green, which means it's paired and communicating with the radio connected to the Bluetooth module. So the ground radio, this guy, you can see that it's paired with the APM on the Bixler. For starters, I'm going to pair this with my MacBook, and we'll hook up a serial port monitor that can just see if we're receiving data and then we'll work on connecting the Bluetooth from the Samsung and Droid Planner. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch Z-Term. And when I do, I'm going to hit the shift key and click on this. And it will ask me uh, which serial port I want to connect to. So in this case, I want to connect to the Droid Planner Bluetooth. I'm going to hit OK. And what we should be seeing here are Mavlink messages. Now this is, I believe... A binary format so we're not going to be able to make sense of this but it does demonstrate that we're receiving data over Bluetooth so let's go ahead and hook it up to the Droid Planner app on the Samsung Galaxy and see how everything looks. Now with everything connected and verified communication with Bluetooth in the MacBook I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and turn on Bluetooth and we can see that it's scanning for devices Here's our Droid Planner device, which is this module right there. So let me go ahead and pair 
with a default code of one, two, three, four. I'm gonna hit okay, now you can see we're paired. Okay, so let's go ahead and go out. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna launch Droid Planner. So this is our default screen. And then I'm going to set up our connection type. Go Bluetooth and 57600 baud rate. If you've seen in a previous video, we showed how to set up the baud rate for the actual module. So what I should be able to do next, close out of that menu, hit connect. Connected. And GPS you can see that it zoomed in and shows the orientation of our plane. You can see that data is coming in on this side. Now let's just take a look as I roll this plane around and I pitch it. You can see that the Droid Planner app updates nicely and show you if I change the actual orientation as I turn the plane. You see the update on the map. In a, in a future video I'll show the different flight modes and how to uh, do mission planning using your Droid Planner app. Now one thing that I'm hoping to do is you'll notice this kludge of wires and so my plan is to in the coming weeks kind of improve this setup and as I mentioned design and 3D print a case uh, that can hold all this together so perhaps that's something that we can collaborate on together as uh, we did previously with the multi wii case but in the meantime I'm going to be experimenting with this setup just to see how it works and do some testing in the field. The great thing about this solution is you can have this somewhat portable while uh, your Bluetooth setup is on the ground. So that was a fun experiment just to get this up and running and finally a data coming across to Droid Planner. I appreciate everyone following along and all of your suggestions and until next time thanks for watching.